Okay, hello guys. So this is the Redmi Note 10. With the code name is Mojito or Sunny. And in this video, I'll show you how to customize the custom ROM on this one. Okay. In this tutorial, we're going to use the Pixel Experience. But basically, all the step you can apply on an other custom ROM. Okay. The link for the files and the step I will provide in the description box. Okay. I will also give a link to another custom ROM if you need it, such as Nusantara OS, Share Droid, and other custom ROM. Okay. Make sure you watch all the steps so you can avoid to mistakenly break your device. Okay. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys, assalamualaikum. We meet again with Tombop. Okay, this time we have uh, another Xiaomi phone. This is the Redmi Note 10, the ordinary one, not the pro one. And the code name is usually called Mojito or Sunny. Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how to customize this phone <clears throat> using the Pixel Experience. Okay, Android 13. As you know, this uh, phone, the latest update is already used the MU 13 and Android 12, okay, but seems it's not good enough. Okay, so let's try to customize this one using the custom ROM instead. Okay, uh, first thing you need to do as usual, I will show you the exciting system. In here, we're still using the Mi 12.0.10 on Android 11, okay. And to enable the developer option, just hit the Mi version five times, go back, and additional settings, developer, upper developer options, <clears throat> and make sure you have unlocked your phone. Okay, this this is already unlocked. Uh, I don't I will not give a tutorial on how to unlock the phone because there is already a lot of them including in my channel okay so basically first step unlock bootloader remove all the emails and you you're ready to go okay now let's turn off the phone and we want to go to the Facebook boot okay <clears throat> then let's switch the screen and like usual best boot mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down and the power button at the same time okay and here we go now i'm opening the powershell and in this folder there is the custom recovery files okay in this tutorial we're going to use the trp 3.7.0 and this is the step why it's straight, straightforward goes to the Facebook mode and <clears throat> the first we need to do is to boot into the recovery okay so let's put it Facebook space boot space therapy and we'll wait until it's initi initiate into the custom recovery after that we can install this one to make it permanent Okay, you can always install this one using the ADB site load or copy the, the SD card. Okay, and now we are in the custom recovery, and I already copied the therapy installer. Okay, so go to the install, find the files. This is the file therapy installer and swipe it and it will make the custom recovery permanent okay 
after this you can format your internal storage and it's always a good idea to back up the fs so let's go to the backup option enable compression for a smaller size and let's check uh, the EFS and modem okay let's swipe it <clears throat> okay let's back up to a safe place okay let's copy this one and put it in uh, let's put it in here okay and after this we want to format our storage okay <clears throat> so hit the home button select wipe format data and tap yes okay when it finish we can reboot to the custom recovery again hit the home button select reboot and recovery okay now i've already copied the custom rom in this one okay i put it in the micro sd and before we get started to flash the, the pixel experience we need to update to the firmware 12.5.5 okay this is uh just the firmware not the this the it is just a firmware update not the fully firmware okay let's take this one and swipe it <clears throat> it will update the modem and other stuff okay next go to the install and select the pixel experience and let's swipe it okay it takes time because the size is about 1.6 gigabyte so i will skip this one and here we go now it's already finished okay let's hit the home button select wipe and let's format the data one more time okay done let's hit reboot system and swipe it okay let's wait here we go now we are seeing the pixel experience boot logo replacing the mu boot logo okay and i will skip this one and this is the welcome screen very nice it has a large font <laughs> yeah just let's skip this one okay hello guys so this is our redmi note 10 majid or sunny and now it's using the pixel experience on android 10 okay and in this section i will try to make a quick review about this rom about the, all the basic functions <clears throat> as you can see we are using the android routine okay this is the new material design in the android routine it's kind of smooth and <clears throat> we got the power menu right here okay shortcut like samsung does and <clears throat> can also customize the quick settings there is lots of options okay sound amplifier have caption caffeine and other stuff okay you can click and drag in here if you needed one okay <clears throat> okay now let's go to the settings okay and first thing i want to check is the storage usually some of you guys will ask how much it will take for the system storage it takes about 1.1 gigabyte and the apps okay about one gigabyte so it's not very large the document and other is <clears throat> this, uh, of the micro SD okay so basically it is it is 
so basically it has smaller footprint than the MIUI okay and let's go to the settings the proper option and the memory okay you can see right here our phone have 4 gigabytes of RAM and it used 2.7 gigabyte uh, more than half okay you can check in here okay what else uh, okay the email usually some of you guys will ask about this one if it's safe or not <clears throat> okay you can see we have our two email so there is no problem with the email <clears throat> We also have a working SIM card and also Wi-Fi, so there is no problem with that. Okay, let's test the GPS. Okay, it needs to be calibrated. You can calibrate your GPS like this one to make uh, it's better. Okay. And it seems that it has the precise location of my position. So there is no problem with GPS, it's working. <clears throat> and now I want to test the root beer and safety net. Okay, root beer usually used to check if it read, read, uh, rooted or not by the apps. Okay, nice. It says not rooted, so you can use your banking or hell rating. And let's open the safety net. Okay, run test. <clears throat> nice. It's pass of the safety net. Okay, very nice. Not always, not every ROM can pass this one, so it's very nice. <clears throat> and what else? Let's test the camera. Okay. I'm going to take a picture and also record the video and I will show you the result. Okay, let's take a picture and let's record the video. Okay, video. Okay, hello guys, now I'm recording using the back camera and I will stop this video. <coughs> Okay. And okay, let's switch. Let's take a picture. <laughs> and now let's record the video. Okay, guys, now I'm recording using the front camera and I will stop this one. Okay, let's check the result the camera and the video. Okay, the default gallery it's using the Google photo and this is the result the back camera very nice it's uh, quite sharp <coughs> and this is the video oh nice <laughs> it's better than my expectation because Let's record the video with a large sound. Usually, uh, newer custom ROM, usually the red routine will have a bug in the sound, but uh, this one isn't. Camera, I will stop this video. It's now I'm recording. Nice. Okay, this is the front camera. Quite decent, and let's take this off. Okay, nice. The video and camera working very fine <clears throat> the plus the plus about this ROM it's record sound uh, with the clear voice okay and what else okay okay now I'm opening the YouTube and I want to test some video playback okay so, so let's play, play this one
Okay, nice. It's uh, have a loud sound. Okay, nice. So there is no problem with the sound in the video. And it's very smooth, very smooth. <laughs> I like it very much. Let the blender stop on. Okay, what else? The internet also working on the Wi Fi. Okay, let's check the ID64. Let's check the CPU. It's used the the clock it's range between 300 and 2.2 gigahertz okay and let's check the CPU throttle and let's start the test okay. <clears throat> CPU throttle usually used to test the stability of the phone because it will make your phone uh, work hard, okay. Usually, when you playing games, uh, it will <clears throat> drain your CPU, and sometimes it will become lag, okay. And with this software, you can test the CPU stress. Okay, the performance is about ninety to one hundred twenty. Okay, let's pause this one. I want to check the result okay let's stop the test and we can see right here the average performance is 99 the IPS the max 121 and the minimal is 75 okay that's very good but you can always boost your CPU using a custom kernel maybe the I will make other another video to test the kernel okay so basically this one is quite smooth and fast okay <clears throat> to save uh, the email Wi-Fi and a SIM card is safe the camera and the video recording play very well uh, okay the camera for recording have a lot of sound and the result of the camera is so it's also nice okay <clears throat> and we also have the test we also have test the sound and video playback in youtube and play very well dps also working and i think it's quite good enough for the driver okay as usual any custom rom is better than the mu because it has more footprint and more faster okay so you decided so this is a tutorial on how to customize your Redmi Note 10 Sunny Mojito and also a quick review, okay? And I hope you like my video. If you find it very useful, please give it a thumb. And I also have lots of video about routing, custom ROM, and lots of fun, okay? Especially Xiaomi, Samsung Realme, Asus, and other stuff, okay? Uh, you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all stay self stay safe stay health and wassalamualaikum